hi in this video i'm going to show how to use power bi desktop and i'm going to explore all the features available in power bi desktop so i just open power bi desktop so when i open you can see the pop up screen where we can directly connect the get data and also it is going to show the recent sources in the below list you can see these are the recent reports that i developed before if you have any other reports that stored in your file system if you want to open that you can go with this link open other reports all right so this is a look and feel about uh, power bi desktop here in left hand side you can see three options so the first option is report or visualization data and the relationship model so before going to uh, import any excel data or any source of data we just gone through the features available in the desktop so in that uh, home tab now i'm in a report section so if i am in a report session i can see the visualization and i can see the fields two sections are there so visualization i can drag and drop or i can just select it is going to take that visual here on the field section we have to add the query so the query will have different fields or columns so we can drag and drop that column to this section and that will be displayed as a report or visualization here all right so if i go to view here we have two different layouts like uh, this is the normal or default layout which we can see in a browser or a tablet even you can see this report in a mobile so if your uh, mobile size is a uh, bit small then uh, you have to see this report in a horizontal so you have to turn your mobile to see this full data visual so but if you want to see as like in your mobile size you can go to phone layout and you can drag and drop the visualization and what visualization you want to see and uh, what is the size that you can define it so if i fix the size as like this then you can see the whole visualization of this particular visual in a single screen itself i mean uh, to fit for your mobile layout all right i'll go to the desktop layout to get the other options and if i go to modeling here uh, we have uh, fast or fast features like uh, we can create a new measures right away from this uh, report section itself new measures or new dimension columns or even you can create a table new table itself so other than that we have a sort option data type format and we have a data type category and we can create a roles uh, so which is going to support role level security and we can assign the things to the group so these are the options available in report section and we have a managed relationship all right if i go to data section here i have a same option since uh, it is showing same home and modeling so in modeling has the same features but if i go to home here we have different options get data from these different uh, sources so as power bi is keep updating every month the desktop version of this power bi has different connectors so these are the connectors that we can use to get the data and import into the power bi desktop so once we created a report and we can publish that report as well as the data set to the power bi services all right and here we can see recent re recent sources and enter data so in case if you want to test something and you want to manipulate the data by yourself without uh, getting the data from online or uh, any sort of data sources you can create a data by yourself so i'll show how to use this enter data and we have edit query in case if you choose sql server as a data source from this get data option or excel if you want to see uh, the query or if you want to modify the query you can go to this section edit queries or you can change the data source itself or the permission of the data source by going to this data source settings other than that to here these are the resources which we can get it from online power bi services and here we can create a new page so this will be disabled as it is will be available only on the report section all right and we have same managed relationship and we can create a new measure in this data section as well and we can publish the report if i go to modeling section i can see the same option but in modeling tab i can see synonyms language and he here we can create a role level security roles 
all right if i choose enter data it is going to ask me the uh, format how many columns i need and how many rows or what are the data i need to enter it for example i'm creating a column called id and name so i'm just entering a few values I'll take one uh, measure column as well. So I just want to create a table with this data. Then I can go with enter data and I can create a n number of column and I can feed the uh, data for each column. So I can name this this as test. So I can directly load this table into this data. So it is going to load the data with uh, load the table structure with the data so we can make use of this table for our report so we can create a uh, different visualizations with this data so we got uh, this one so as we are in a relationship model so it is going to show what are the columns and what are the columns are uh, uh, integer data type so integer data types columns are uh, always aggregated so you can see this icon aggregated icon so name column is always it is considered as a uh, string because of uh, the entered data so it is trying to identify the entered data and identifying the data type of the data if you want to modify still you can modify so in this case i want to convert this or modify this id column into string because i don't want to aggregate this id column as i have only amount column which i need to aggregate so to modify the things i can go to data section and i can select this here if we go to data and here you can see the data type it is just in a whole number i just want to change to text all right i change to text or you can right click sorry if you are in the edit query section you can go to right click right so edit query section is going to show the power query editor so here you can do whatever transformation you want you can do it here itself so initially this is in the whole number if you want to convert then we can to change to text so we have done this already in the data section itself so, so that's the reason it has thrown a pop up message so i just replace that with this reason transformation so once i done this so you can see all the fields in the right hand side under field section so i just drag and drop this visual i can select whatever fields i want to see in that visual all right here it is showing the reference option so as i have only two data it is going to show as like this so here uh, you can create a new page or new visual like in it is taking from this right hand side right so these are the options which we can use it for power bi desktop thank you